All right, so I wanna talk about plugging into complicated formulas. And so here we have this complicated formula here. It has this X bar minus T times S over square root of N. And this is a compound inequality. You have the same thing on the right, but a plus sign. So let's see how we can plug into this equation or inequality. So here's the question. It says substitute the following values for the variables in the compound inequality given there. So find a compound inequality that describes the variable mu. Describe the solution set as an inequality in interval notation and on a graph. All right, so let's try this. So here are the values that we're supposed to plug in. So all we got to do is plug these values in to this inequality. Be very careful with plugging that into a calculator. It's kind of difficult. Make sure you understand order of operations and all that. So here's the answer. So let's go ahead and try it. It's really about plugging into a calculator. I'm going to pull up a calculator right here. So, so first of all, we have to plug in. Actually, I'm going to copy these values over here so I can put them next to my equation. Throw those right there. So now I can see them all at the same time. All right. So first off, 19.1 minus T. What's T? 2.078 times. Now you have S divided by square root of n. So s is 3.9 divided by square root of n, which is 26. And that's it for the left hand side. So we're getting 17.51 is less than mu, which is less than now we get the other one. So what I like to do in my calculator is a little trick. I go up to that, I press enter, I bring it down and then I just scroll over to the left, change that to addition, makes things a lot easier. Let me move this over. I'm getting 20.69. All right, so look at that. So you see how we plugged it into our calculator? Easy as that. You can just copy and paste for the second one to go from the minus to the plus sign. So this right here is inequality notation. If we round it, we'll get 17.5 and 20.7 like they got. So that is inequality notation, okay? The other notation that we want is interval notation and that's easy. So you just write it as 17.51 comma 20.69. And then you just put parentheses on the left and right hand side. Notice that we're using parentheses here. And the reason for that is because this inequality right here is a strict inequality. So it's just less than. If it was less than or equal to, we would use a square bracket. But since it's less than, we just use a parentheses. We call this inclusive. If we want to include the endpoint, this we call exclusive. All right, so that's just a little bit about notation. And another thing about this inequality, this right here is something in statistics dealing with the margin of error for a confidence interval. This is basically like the left endpoint and the right endpoint of a confidence interval. That's So that's in statistics, confidence interval. You have X bar minus the margin of error and then X bar plus the margin of error. So this thing is actually called the margin of error. It's T times S over square root of N. So that's something more for us introductory statistics class. This problem right here is just basically learning how to plug into a formula. Okay, so that's it. I feel your vibe cause you giving me that sign. Hypnotized, I fly high like I was on first class. Gotta give it up cause you got so much class. I'm feeling you.